So I just wanted to make a quick little video to update you guys where I am with the Forces of Nature army. I've finished all of the earth and fire elements, and I've actually started working on the air ones. Water was going to be next, but since it's a whole bunch of small units, like naiads and infantry, I decided I was tired of that after the centaurs, and I wanted to work on something different, which is what my air elemental is. So for air, I've got some eagles, which are assembled, and my air elemental, which is fully assembled and painted. Pretty happy with how he turned out, too. It's a little bit hard to see. I'll zoom in. That is my air elemental. So it's mostly made of colored polyfiber. I colored the polyfiber before I uh, put it together. I've got some in-progress pictures you can see on my website. But uh, what I did is I put the proper size base and then I constructed a frame kind of like a like a tomato plant holder and then I put the limbs that I wanted so it doesn't actually have a body I instead put the limbs where I wanted them to appear out of the smoke painted them put the spirits around painted them and then I filled the um, the lattice that I had created with wire with the um, colored polyfiber. It's the stuff that you use to fill teddy bears. Um, this was super fun to make and if you couldn't tell his color scheme is actually based off of Digimon. The face I thought resembled that um, the monster from Digimon very much so that's why I uh, colored him like that. It was always my intention to have my air be um, orange, brown, and blue as their primary colors. So here you can see him in a little bit better light. Since he has that uh, the funnel shape, any light from above actually obscures the model from below. I'm really happy with how he's turned out. So like almost everything else in the army, he does actually glow in the dark. And uh, this model, I actually put a light in his base. So if I turn it on, he'll glow in, uh, in the dark. The polyfiber hides it quite a bit. It's not a very strong light. It's a tea light. But uh, you can still notice it if it's completely dark. So you can see, somewhat hard to see, but it is there. Only really be able to show it off if the event's dark. And I have to make sure it doesn't show off the wireframe below it. But yeah, pretty cool. And then the black light, he glows in the dark, of course. Very obvious. Especially his tattoos. So besides the air elemental, I've got the rest of the army that's left to paint assembled. I'm going to be going back to work soon. I've been off for two months because of my broken knee, but that's uh, going to be coming to a close soon. So rather than leave the assembly for when I have less time. I've done it all now and I just need to paint it. So you can see my two units of naiads there. That's the water part of the army along with their uh, their hero with her harpoon gun on her back. They're all going to be armed with harpoon guns that I made from the dark elf repeater crossbows because they look the most pointy. The models are witch elves that have been converted to have the, the crossbows. And I was thinking of adding gills to all of them. I'm pretty sure I forgot about that halfway through. So the naiads are just going to be witch elves with crossbows. I'm pretty happy with their bases though. Each base is a set piece. This one's of a raft capsizing. There's actually a monster in there. A sea monster along with the command of the Naiad unit going to kill this poor guy. And then this one is going to be in the deeper end of my display board over there. And that is the, uh, it's a capsized ship. Well, not capsized, it's a sunk ship. And that was a lot of fun to put together. I really like the, uh, the wire that I use. That same wire was used for the air elemental. And I just cobbled that together with whatever I could find. Bamboo skewers, half a paintbrush, wire, banners for the sails, and the flag, which will be a pirate flag. 
the witch elves hanging off the thing. Their poses are really lend themselves to that. And then there's the Hydra in the background. That's just straight up the uh, Fantasy Battles Hydra. So nothing special there. Just using, using the Charybdis head because it's way cooler than the regular Hydra one. And then the Warhawk Riders in the back. So they're on stone pillars, uh, which makes them look a little bit silly when they're all in a unit. But I put them on three separate bases so that when they're fully done, they'll be put onto the volcano of the display board. And that should look really good. So they'll be spread out around the volcano, and then when they're playing, they'll be as one unit. Which, as I said, makes them look a little bit silly, but they look really good on that display board. So that's my progress at the moment. The next thing I'm going to do is probably those uh, hawks get them all fully painted up and then the uh, display board essentially will be completed. The air had a lot of elements left from the display board like these guys have the last of the pillars for the volcano. The air elemental is my volcano's plume. Whereas the other guys it doesn't really matter whether they're there or not for the display board. Um, so I'm going to be doing the riders next. Then probably the hydra because I feel like painting something big and then I'll work on the naiads last. And once that's done, the whole army is done. So I've got until July to do it, and I think I can make it in time, no problem. I'm going to be posting a lot more pictures on my site, so if you want to, you can see them there. That's fullypainted.com, and there's galleries of everything I've done so far, and that's where I put most of my pictures. Videos might come a little bit more infrequently once I go back to work. I'll just have less time uh, to make them, but... That's what I can do.